A woman up in Steamboat is fighting for custody of that Siberian Husky. She says she found the dog abandoned in Canyon City in 2013. And the dog does have a microchip. But now the original owner wants the Husky back. So there's a dog fight in court. Mountain News reporter Matt Croshill is live for us in Steamboat Springs. Matt. You know, they call it Dogtown USA here. They love their four-legged friends, and many of those dog people are coming out to support the woman here who wants to keep her husky. The bond between Ashley Anderson and Sitka is real and adorable. Despite that bond, judge ruling Anderson does not actually own the dog under state law. We're losing a part of our family. We're losing a family member, and it's not it's not property. It has her vowing to fight it no matter what. It's anger, it's sadness, it's frustration, it's confusion. It's confusion more than anything. Three years ago, Anderson adopted Sitka after the dog was found wandering in Canyon City. She brought it here. I've given her an incredible life here in Steamboat. It's Dogtown, USA. They checked for a microchip, tried to find its owner, but they couldn't find either. Skip ahead to earlier this year. A recheck for that microchip found one. It alerted the original owner in Fremont County. He sued. And then you sit in the courtroom and it hits you in the face. Um, I could lose her. And one in court. Every emotion you could possibly feel. Um, it's a roller coaster. It's, it doesn't feel like reality. Both dog parents remain locked in a tense custody dispute over the Husky, and both sides are vowing to not back down. But she's worth it. Just today, more legal action on this case. It looks like it might end up in a jury trial. We did talk to the other owner's attorney of that dog, and the attorney says bring it on in court. We're live in Steamboat Springs. Matt Croshill, CBS4 Mountain Newsroom. Matt, thanks so much. Changes